Well, howdy there, guys. Welcome back to Stewie MTG and opening up this Brothers Warp bundle that I got for um, actually tomorrow is my wife and I's 19th anniversary. Um, so she uh, the girl and the girls picked out this bundle for me while we were shopping at the Wally World. And so let's crack it open. Uh, I've been able to open up much Brothers War besides the Commander's decks. Um, so. What have we got in here? A bunch of junk. We've got a there's this Iron Allegiance. I know you guys can't really see that. Once again, don't steal children. And here we go with the box. Let me go and see if I can zoom out. I can't. So in here we have a 20-sided dice. Let me find the Brothers War. Here's the, the punch out mess. And we got ourselves, uh, oh wow, this is Pringle City. Uh, you guys can't tell now, but the uh, the promo card and the both promo cards and the, this pack, especially the these foils over here. Once I open this up, that's Pringle City. A little description of on your turn like to hand these out to new players and we got ourselves two four six eight packs of brothers war I'll close this up and we will take a look at what I got inside let's go ahead and bring this over here so first up this first wax paper Odd that they're doing it in this, in these. I, I used to remember it feels a lot like the the old '80s baseball uh, card wrappers. Oh my god, these are ridiculous! I hope you guys can see this. These are Pringle chips, including Quinn Caleb Ben Krug, which is absolute Pringle chip, and a, a variety of foil lands that are literally Pringles chips. Uh, maybe I can stick this between a couple of decks and straighten these out, but oh man, that is ridiculous. And here is this other package with a, it looks like a Transformers card. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of Transformers, so not kind of my thing. I'm not going to build a Transformers deck. So we got Flame War. Brash Veteran and a bunch of regular lands that are not Pringle chips. So with that, let's pop open the Brothers War packs. Got a stack over here. Um, I know we've gone had a, quite a few sets since Brothers War going on. So what do we have here? We have a Rust Goliath art card. Swamp. And I'm not going to say each name, but just stop at the uncommons and rares. Lauren, Disciple of History, Disciples of Gix, Pelagi Excavation, Well of Lost Dreams for the first rare, Sigil of Valor. I actually needed one for a. Um, Exalted deck I'm building. Excellent. Urza's Command. I actually needed that for my Urza's deck. Citanul Stalwart and a list card in Pillaging Horde um, from Portal. 4 mana 5-5 five, five creature. Uh, when Pillaging Horde comes into play from your hand, discard a card at random from your hand or destroy it. Not too bad. wonder what creature type that is. Um, and next pack. Two rares I actually needed for some decks so far. Not bad, not bad at all. So this looks like a Hedron of some sort. It's Keening Stone in the Schematic Art Island. And get through the commons here. Evolving Wilds. Uh, we've got Horned Stone Seeker. Hulking Metamorph. 
Mishra Excavation Prodigy, Bushwhack, a Millstone, Brotherhood's End for our well, first rare. Putting those in the wrong stack. Sorry, you guys. Brotherhood's End, Battery Bearer and for the foil, and a Power Stone token. That pack, not so, uh, not so exciting. But not every pack can be exciting, can it? Got Retrieval Agent with a foil forest that's uh, not too Pringle yet. Ambush Prayer Trooper. Evolving Wilds, Iron Claw Crusher, Gurgling Anointer, Mask of the Jade Crafter, Take Flight. Got ourselves a Cloud Key, a Harbin Vanguard Advisor for another rare. We got Fortified Beachhead for a foil rare. Oh, I actually needed this for my um, Soldier's deck. Excellent. And we have a list card in Phyrexian Battleflies. One mana, O1 oh, Insect Flying, and it, you can spend a black mana to give it plus one plus zero until end of turn, but you can only do that twice in a turn. I think that might go in my Insect Tribal. Two list cards so far out of three packs, not so bad. Now, Fortified Beachhead, I don't know how much it's worth. I'm going to have to look up some of these prices later, but I'm happy to add it to my deck. And there's an art card for Urza. Uh, that will go on the back of my, my Urza Commander Island. Go flip through the commons here real quick. So we've got a corrupt monastery swift spear, cradle clear cutter, another sigil of valor. I'm not complaining. Simeon simulacrum, military discipline for the foil, and a power stone token. I'm gonna crack this open. So we already see that there's not a list card. Instead, we've got that punch out craziness. We have ourselves here a defabricate and a full art mountain. Some commons, lay down arms. Oh, sorry. Involuntary cooldown. I'm seeing full art something back here. Obstinate Bailoth. And we've got a Mishra, Tamer of Fak Makfawa. I almost said a bad word. Uh, five mana, four, four, human artificer. Permanence you control have ward, sack of permanent. Each artifact in your graveyard has unearth for one, a black, and a red. And we have a spring leaf drum. A root wire amalgam. Mishra's juggernaut for a foil in this punch out thingy. Three packs to go. Not too bad. That full art Mishra. Uh, probably not worth a whole lot, but I like full art uh, cards. Wish they did more of them. Uh, so we have here a schematic for Foundry Inspector, a foil forest, energy for factor. Once again, just sliding through these commons. Lauren, streams of streams of steel and oil, reconstructed Thopter. Disciples of Gix, Ivory Tower, Phyrexian Flesh Gorger, and a, another foil rare in Liberator, Urza's Battlethopper, going right into Urza uh, for the theme. And for the list card, we've got a rare with Braid's Conjurer Adept. Wow, that's we're hitting the list cards pretty good. And, and two foil rares and eight packs, that's insane. Or at least from uh, me being the old school guy and remembering that when foils started, this is a Scrapbook Rager art card. When foils first started, it was one foil rare per box, per booster box. It's up for Sentinel, Mishra, got a flow of knowledge, a Journeyer's Kite, an Ornithopter in the old border. We have ourselves a Mishra's Foundry for rare, 
energy refractor for the foil and a power stone and last pack for today we have ourselves here a Hercule master wizard forest let me cycle through these commons here uh, sorry Thopter architect Suchi cave guard We've got Urza, Power Stone Prodigy, going right in my Urza deck. we got ourselves a Foundry Inspector, another Brotherhood's End. We've got a Third Path, ugh, third path Iconoclast, and a Soldier Token. Well, you know what? That wasn't so bad. Uh, I think the, the two foil rares between Fortified Beachhead and the Liberator Urza, as, as well as that full art... Um, Mishra, uh, I think more than make up uh, for the, the rest of the cards, except for those Pringly foils, and we'll have to see what I'm going to do with those. Uh, this has been Stewie MTG, and we will catch you all later.